hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make this simple up shoulder crop top with elastic it is simple and beginners friendly if you are new to my channel you are welcome please consider subscribing to the channel and turn off the notification bell so you won't miss any of my video so let's get started So this is the fabric we are going to use for this tutorial. I have my African print here, my ruler, my scissors, chalk and tape through. So I've gone ahead and cut my fabric. The width I'm working with is the bust measurement divided by 4 plus 2.5 inches. Okay, her bust is 38 inches, I divided it by 4, I have 9 and half inches okay i have nine and a half inches so the nine and a half inches is here then i added two and a half inches then i'll use one inches to join the top together okay hope you understand what i did and for the length of the top because it's an off shoulder i'm going to take minus six inches the length of the top I'm working with is 17 inches. I'm going to use one inch here to fold it for the elastic casing and one inch here to fold it for the elastic casing, if you understand it. The next thing we are going to do is to get our chest measurement. And because it's an upside down, I'm going to take out 6 inches from the top. So the arm hole I'm working with now is... Um, 18 inches 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches okay 9 inch because i added 1 inch there for the casing so it will be 10 inches here then i mark 10 inches down 10 inch so i'm gonna have to draw the line for clarity sake so what I did is that, remember the boss, the boss I'm working with is 38, 38 divided by 5, I have 9 and a half inches, plus 2 and a half inches, this is my 9 and a half inches here, you see that, 9 and a half inches, plus 2 and a half inches here, okay, 2 and a half inches, this is the allowance because I don't want the gallons to be too full, but if you want it to be too full, please go ahead as bus measurement by two and use the the width okay i use this for the width hope you get it okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my shoulder measurement so the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 14 15 inches so 15 divided by two is seven and a half inches i hope you guys can see let me put my tape this way so you can see it i hope you guys can see what i'm doing is seven and a half inches here then i mark my seven and a half inches okay this seven and a half inches i'm going to add two inches to it okay all right you can add one and a half inches but me i want to work with two inches then i add half inch for sewing allowance that's joining into the shoulder so basically i added two and a half inches for the shoulder so this is it here all right then i'm going to connect it from this point to here so this is my nine seven and a half inches for my normal shoulder measurement understand then i added two inches these two inches here this is my sewing allowance half inch so what next i did was i connected the two inches down to the chest line the arm hole line okay i connected it this way hope you guys can see it then the next thing i'm going to do i want to get my arm hole curve i go in by one inch then if you like you can draw a straight line like this but i want my own to be curved so because i want it to be i want to join it with half inch i'm going to start from here not here for clarity sake, let's just do it that way, okay? So I'm gonna have to curve it. Alright? Using a, my French cup ruler, I can use a free hand. Just connect it. 
but remember i did not turn it from this this is my actual line i add, i added half in sewing around because i want to cut both the allowance everything together that's what i did here if you want you can curve it from here add your allowance before cutting it so basically that's all for this tutorial but i'll now go ahead and cut it out so i'm going ahead and cut it out next thing we are going to do is to cut our sleeve so i'm going ahead and cut out the pieces for my sleeve i have the two sleeves together do you see and fold so the length of the sleeve i'm working with is 13 inches plus two inches in allowance making it 16 inches and because it's an off shoulder dress i'm taking a minus six inches okay did you see that 15 inches but remember i'm going to use one inch here for elastic and one inch here for elastic so making it 15 inch but the actual length i'm working with after joining it and after sewing it is 13 inches okay hope you get that yeah to get the ammo curve the width i'm working with is my armhole divided by two and the arm i'm working with is 16 inches 16 inches divided by two is eight inches so do you see i have my eight inches here then i added four inches plus four inches okay four inches remember i'm going to use one inch to join it so i added my one inch all right basically all together is um 13 inches okay so divide your arm home measurement then you add allowance as you want if you want the gather to be very full you add more than four inch but me i'm using four inch for my own and my sewing allowance will be one inch okay that's all then next we are going to do is to grab our top like so go to the end like this it's very simple to cut you see what i did i align the two together not from this folded part but from this side okay then you can trace it out or you just pin it and cut but me i'm tracing my own for let's see okay see i trace it out now i'm going to cut it out so this is my top and this is my sleeve the same okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to join them together I'll open up the fabric. You see, I align my top together. Make sure the edges are equal and they are more equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join this side and this side together. I'll do the same thing to the sleeve. I'll join the sleeve together and this side using the one inch I mark out for joining it. Okay. I'm going to join this using the one inch I marker. That is this for the sleeve and then this for the top. I'm going to join it one inch, okay? Yeah. So I'll join it and come and show you the nice thing to do. So I've gone ahead and joined the top together. As you can see. I'm joining it together using the one inch allowance I told you guys. And I went ahead and joined the sleeve together with the one inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is to turn my fabric, my top. Okay? Turn your top. I turn my fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join it. I'll iron it. After ironing it, you know, join the, the sleeve to the top like so okay see join make sure that both of them align they are equal then i'll join it i hope you guys can see the two sides see i took my the sleeve seam allowance and this allowance so i have to match them together like so if you guys can see then i'll join it I'll do the same thing here, join it up, join it down, 
But before I do that, I'll iron it out. After I iron it, then I'll join it. After you, I'll come back and show you how it looks like. The next step. To... So I've gone ahead to join it. Okay? I joined it. I don't know if you can see this side. I joined it, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is to fold the upper part with the one inch allowance and next for the elastic. And I'll do the same thing to the sleeve. One inch, I'll fold it up and the down part with one inch, okay? And I'll do the same thing to the top, up and down with the one inch and left. And I'll do the same to this sleeve. When I finish folding it, I'm going to pass my elastic. So let me explain. So after I've finished folding it, I'm going to pass the elastic. The elastic I'm working with is less than half inch. Okay? Let them half inch. That's why I use one inch. Fold, to fold half inch this. I'm going to fold one inch and fold half inch, then I'll fold half and making it one inch then I'll sew. Then after sewing it, I'm going to leave a little space, maybe like one inch here. I'll okay now. I've gone ahead to fold it. Like I told you guys that I will do is a one inch allowance, okay? Then the next thing I did, the next thing I'm going to do is to pass my elastic, this one, into this place, this place, this place, and this place. So, I'm going to get the elastic I'll use for this upper part, this up shoulder part. That I'll measure the up shoulder. I'll measure my client up shoulder. My client up shoulder round is 45 inches. So 45, I'm going to take my nose 6 inches from the 45 inches because I want it tight, not too tight, but I want I don't want it to be falling off. So I'm going to my nose 6 inches. The same thing, you measure your waist, take out like 5 or 6 inches, but me, I'm taking out 6 inches. Then the same thing with the um, sleeve. Measure your client round sleeve length. Round sleeve, then you minus six inches. Okay? So, as you can see, I'm gonna have to, I left some space here. You are past my elastic fishing. Okay? So, basically, that's all for this dress. Then I'll come, out, come back and show you the finished look of this dress. So, this is the finished look of this crop top. You can see it's all looking very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you try this out, if you try this, leave me a comment in the comment section. I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye for now.